This is a brush called the Dagger, um, sometimes called the Striper. I, I prefer the Dagger myself, but uh, it actually tapers to a very fine blade here. And that's the back of the, the brush. So if you load the brush with colour, it holds quite a lot of paint. And if you turn the brush, so you hold the brush upright, there's the blade and you run the blade along the surface of the paper and you get these lovely stripes. That's why it's called the striper. Like that. So you get these fabulous thin lines, but because the brush holds a lot of paint, you can just use one mix and just continu continue painting grasses like that. If you pull the brush over, you get a different effect. Just pull it away like that. So you just flick the brush over for some very interesting grass techniques. This is a smaller version of the dagger or striper. Hold the brush upright and just pull the brush over and get some very interesting flower effects. You can use them for painting water, some ripples and reflections. So you just run the blade along the paper and if you just wiggle your brush you get some choppy water paint leaves so you just push the brush onto the, the paper, turn the brush, leave the vein like that. And some flowers. Maybe some roses. Rosebud, like so. Load the brush with colour, some green. Start at the top, push the brush in like that, bring it down. some rosebuds. So that's the dagger or striper.